Hi-Fi icons everybody wants, but no one really needs. Today's video is all about the Sony MDR XB 500 compared to the MDR XB 1000. Uh, three years ago, I made a video about these little suckers here and I did mention these huge suckers right here and I was lucky and I got my hands on one of these these are very rare everybody wants them but to be honest you don't really need them Especially if you want to use them mobily, because you will actually need an extra uh, headphone amp to run these suckers. So I use an iPhone uh, with my music. So nowadays I need this lightning adapter that goes into the phone and gives you the 3.5 millimeter um, clinker. But the phone's amp is not strong enough to drive those huge speakers that are mounted in those headphones. It's barely enough to run the XB500. So, actually, on the run and mobile, I like the sound of these way better than the big ones because there is just, it sounds hollow. These are more full and rich, even though those speakers go way deeper but like i said don't even bother using it with a regular uh phone you will need extra power to drive these the fun thing about these is that i paid about as much no actually i paid less i paid less for these than i paid for these so I got these uh, in 2019 when I went to the hospital so I was able to listen to music and these popped up I guess I was lucky again they popped up on uh, Facebook marketplace a guy locally selling these in K-Town and I paid 35 euros I shouldn't even tell you this price. Nowadays, uh, these go for, I don't know, I've seen somebody try to sell them for a thousand euros. So for that kind of money, I just had to get these to check them out. And to be honest, uh, you will have to run these headphones on your home stereo uh, uh, amplifier on the outlet, on the uh, headphones outlet, because otherwise you will not be able to, to produce enough power to push those drivers. Uh, other than that, the sound is just... Uh, <laughs> overwhelmingly bassy if you're into that um, there's uh, plenty of videos uh, about uh, sound comparison I just wanted to show you these huge headphones compared to a regular sized headphone I mean these these are big but those are just humongous but i gotta say both of them are very comfy to wear i mean these even feel it feels like a cloud so if you have the chance to put these on uh be my guest so if you're around k-town <laughs> stop by and see if i'm in i have them here at my store and you can uh put them on and be on cloud number nine. So that's pretty much sums it up. 
uh, hi-fi equipment everybody wants but you don't really need that definitely is one item I would put in that list uh, they're just outrageously big don't worry about it they go for ridiculous prices like I said up to a thousand I think a realistic price should be uh, in a good condition about and now in 2024 maybe 300 to 500 euros depending if you have the box or not but I wouldn't really I wouldn't worry about it because if you don't like bassy music or no, actually, no, even if you like bassy music, you will not be using these a lot. So I cannot recommend. They're highly collectible, but to listen to, I would actually rather use the 500s to listen to music because they just, they're just, they overdo everything. Don't buy the thousand, buy the 500, or maybe you can go for the 700. And actually, I wouldn't have bought these if they wouldn't have been sold locally for that low money. And if I wouldn't have had listened to them, so I know I, I knew what I was getting. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't even bother. I wouldn't pay 300 euros for a set of these uh, headphones. So, Subscribe to my channel if you like this video consider it giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye